Hey friends, that engineering is booming because of the AI and the demand for data engineers is now higher than ever. And to become a data engineer, you have to learn the right skill. And now the big question is, what are the courses to take? And this question, I get it a lot, not only from you, from YouTube, but as well at work, many people would like to become data engineers. And that's why this year I spent a lot of time researching, trying different courses and platforms. And I can tell you this is a big chaos because there are a lot of expensive courses and I can tell you it is a big struggle I can't imagine like a beginner how we're gonna go and find the right course because there are a lot of things that are way overpriced so now what I have done I did brainstorming about this topic I have consolidated and compacted the top five courses in order to become a data engineer and I put them into like four different categories so let's dive in into the first category now, the first option is totally free. It's gonna cost you zero dollars if you just use YouTube. So basically, you're gonna go and customize your own journey on how to become a data engineer by cherry picking your courses, projects, and tutorials that you can find in YouTube following your favorite creators. So for example, you could kick off your journey to become a data engineer on YouTube by learning SQL. And here I could be little biased by recommending my own SQL course, the full 30 hours SQL course on YouTube totally for free and by the way this course hit 1 million in just four months so don't miss it then naturally the second skill gonna be python and i'm sorry but still i'm gonna be biased so you could follow my python course in youtube as well totally for free or i could recommend as well python by mosh he is really great guy and make amazing courses and after that you could add pyspark and you could check the free code camp they have really nice course about pyspark in youtube and after that you have to pick one of the cloud platforms like for example the Microsoft Azure and I'm gonna recommend Adam he has really nice course on YouTube by the way don't worry about the links you're gonna find everything in the description and as well in the notion roadmap for that engineering so as you can see it is totally possible to just learn using YouTube totally free and as well you have the freedom to pick exactly the teaching style that you like so for example my style I always go and draw the things behind the scenes using sketches to explain the complex concepts and as well this one is totally flexible you can design the path to become a data engineer as you want like for example i don't want to learn about PySpark and databricks i would like to go and learn about snowflake and you say instead of learning microsoft azure i could go and learn about the aws from amazon but now the downside for that is actually nothing is structured it is totally on you to figure out what you're gonna learn next and of course the quality of the courses are different like for example you might have really good course but it is actually outdated and the biggest problem learning from YouTube is actually you are not getting certified so now if you ask me when to use YouTube well first if you cannot afford any paid courses then YouTube gonna be the only option for you and it is as well for you if you are just curious about data engineering so you go and try multiple courses and then maybe later you're gonna invest if you want to become a real data engineer but if you are a total beginner and you don't have a real roadmap you might be overwhelmed and as well you might risk wasting time on unnecessary stuff so now moving on to the second option and this one gonna be hybrid so you're gonna go as far as you can using youtube and only for the hard complex missing topics and courses you go and fill the gap using odemy so what i mean here you're still gonna go and learn sql python maybe git and github using youtube but if you go to advanced topics like databricks pyspark and aws or azure you go to odemy and buy courses there and my favorite course is the big data engineering bootcamp if you check the course content you will find a lot of modern and important topics for any data engineer so I recommend this one it's really nice so go as far as you can with YouTube and only fill the gap using Udemy this is gonna be really cheap maybe you're gonna spend like 50 to 100 bucks you're gonna get a lifetime access to the courses in Udemy and as well you will get at the end certifications now here the downside you might end up easily by the wall of shame of Odemy. So if you don't pay attention, you might buy like 10 courses on Odemy and never finish them. And as the first category, this path is suitable for people that cannot afford expensive courses, especially if you are students. So if times goes back and I am students, I might go this path. 
Okay, the third option is to go all in in one platform. So you don't have to go and build your own roadmap. You don't have to customize anything. Everything is like designed to take you from the start to the end to become a data engineer. And here I'm talking about the platform data camp. I found for you the following. So we have the associate data engineering in SQL. So here you're going to start by learning the theory about that data engineering, then the different concept of SQL. Then you're going to do a quick project. And after that, you're going to deep dive into the data warehouse concepts. And this track is focusing on the snowflake SQL. And again, at the end, you have like some data projects. So as you can see everything is bundled in one go in one track you don't have to think about okay what i'm gonna go and learn next and another track which is my favorite is the data engineering in python so here we're gonna go into advanced topics of data engineering like for example the cloud computing so you have a lot of topics on how to work with data using python how to connect to apis you have as well some tutorials about the git then the important concepts of the etl and the elt how to do data pipelining using the apache airflow and then as usual some projects so again it's like a roadmap have a theory courses and projects so those two tracks are really amazing they are covering a lot of data engineering topics in one place and by the way data camp is partnered with microsoft and if you apply for their tracks you're gonna get a discount 50 percent off microsoft certifications and of course those certifications has way more weight than the platform certifications like the udemy one now moving on to another course i really liked it is the ibm data engineering professional certificates from coursera so this one is as well like a bundle of multiple skills in one place so it's like a roadmap end to end you have again introduction and theory to data engineering you're gonna learn sql and python and start learning the important concept of the etl and data pipelining using airflow and well kafka and then we have the data warehouse fundamentals and then as well about the big data spark and hadoop and many other nice stuff so again everything is bundled in one place so now the good side of this option is that you can have a super clear roadmap you don't have to waste time thinking about okay what is the next thing that i have to learn and the certifications of course from coursera and microsoft have more weight and the downside here of course is the payments because you have to subscribe for those platforms you have to pay monthly for those platforms and now of course the question is who is this path for i'm gonna say if you are a total beginner and you don't want to have the struggle of designing your own roadmap to become a data engineer and you have a stress on time you would like to become one in one year and you don't mind like paying the subscription then those platforms are really suitable for you and once you are done you can go of course and unsubscribe and now we come to the final and the most expensive option you're gonna go to the premium vendor training so you go directly to the big tech companies and you take their trainings and certifications here i recommend you to take the advanced data engineering with databricks as the name says you're gonna learn all the advanced concepts techniques the best practices of data engineering but using the platform databricks and at the end you can apply for an exam to get certified directly from databricks so this one has the highest weight on your cv and for the hiring managers so this is a big advantage the downsides here they are really expensive for the courses and as well for the exams you have to pay a lot of money and one advantage here compared to other courses is that they go really deep into advanced topics the other courses they can just teach you the basics and maybe intermediate stuff so now now, of course the question is who is this for i'm gonna say if you have the basics and you would like to go deeper you want to get more advanced stuff as a data engineer then i totally recommend you that and this is as well for people that are really serious on becoming a data engineer and they can afford it this is gonna be a huge plus at your resume so my friends those are the four options and the five top courses that i recommend to become a data engineer and now you might say bara i would like to learn data engineering only from you i get this a lot so thank you for that i'm gonna say then support the channel by subscribing liking commenting and i promise you i'm gonna make one that has really amazing quality but things takes time because i'm a real data engineer at mercedes-benz and i'm doing this only as a side hobby but who knows so thank you so much for watching and i will see you by the next video bye bye